If you're in possession of a 1980 half dollar, or if you're considering adding one to your Kennedy collection, this comprehensive guide is tailored for you. Kennedy half dollars hold significant collectible value, making them a noteworthy addition to any coin enthusiast's collection. However, it's essential to note that 1980 saw the highest mintage for this coin in that decade, potentially impacting its premium value. Nonetheless, there's potential for value if you chance upon a 1980 half dollar with a unique error. Errors in coins can substantially elevate their worth, but recognizing these discrepancies requires a keen eye. This guide is crafted to assist you in determining the value of a 1980 half dollar accurately. Within, you'll uncover insights into errors that could fetch hundreds of dollars, guidance on grading your Kennedy dollars, and lucrative varieties of 1980 half dollars. Let's delve into the details. Is a 1980 half dollar worth anything? The 1980 half dollar belongs to the esteemed Kennedy half dollar series. Inaugurated in 1964 following the tragic assassination of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. In the aftermath of the nation's mourning, plans swiftly emerged to immortalize the fallen president on a coin. Mint director Eva Adams granted chief engraver Gilroy Roberts the green light to design a commemorative Kennedy half dollar. Jacqueline Kennedy proposed replacing Benjamin Franklin on the half dollar instead of George Washington on the quarter. These proposals necessitated congressional approval, fortunately facing minimal legislative resistance. The new president, Lyndon Johnson, played a pivotal role in expediting the introduction of the commemorative coin. The half dollar designed to honor President Kennedy prominently features his profile on the obverse. Chief engraver Gilroy Roberts deemed the left-facing profile as the most aesthetically pleasing portrayal of the president. The word liberty is emblazoned boldly across the top half of the coin with the year date 1,980 inches inscribed at the bottom along the inner rim. Our national motto, In God We Trust, is also displayed on the obverse, with In God on the left and We Trust on the right, separated by JFK's profile. The reverse of the half dollar is intricately detailed, showcasing the presidential seal design featuring the national bird, an eagle. With its wings outstretched, the eagle grasps an olive branch in its left talon and 13 arrows in its right, symbolizing peace and war, respectively. A shield before the eagle's chest signifies a commitment to defend the nation's sovereignty. In its beak, the eagle carries a banner bearing the words E Pluribus Unum, translating to out of many one, our nation's motto. Surrounding the design is a ring of 50 stars, representing the 50 states. Now let's explore the value of the 1980 half dollar. There are three varieties of the 1980 half dollar, each with its distinct value. 1980p half dollar, 1980d half dollar, 1980s proof half dollar. The availability of examples begins to diminish at M67, but several specimens have been certified and graded. Finding 1980D half dollars graded MS68 and above is exceedingly rare, and those that are found command a premium. Circulated 1980D half dollars typically range in value from 60 cents to 75 cents. Examples in mint state grades are relatively affordable, with a grade of MS65 costing around $1.18 for a good looking specimen. Gem quality examples are exceptionally scarce, with prices soaring as high as $4,350 for specimens graded accordingly.